What's going on guys, today I've got the comparison between the Marathon Z in my left hand and the Marathon Z1, so the newest version of the Z series in my right hand. And we're going to do a quick comparison similar to what we did between the X and the X1 and basically do a spec breakdown and quick comparison and basically what has been upgraded on the Z in order to get to this new Z1 unit. Now, straight off the bat, I'm very impressed by this Z1, and I think for the price of it, you're getting an incredible phone, and you're getting a lot of sort of ethical reasoning behind it, and a lot of what Mara do and Mara phones' work is extremely commendable, and I personally believe it is definitely a step in the right direction. I've been saying this consistently, throughout the Marathon's whole experience is that I believe that Marathon's is definitely a brand to watch out for and a brand that is forward thinking in terms of Africa made product and Africa constructed phones as well as sourcing work for people that perhaps would have been unemployed without Marathon's. So anyway, we've done a full video on that and if you want to see that, that'll be linked in the description below. But essentially, these Mara phones are going to be priced slightly higher than the market is currently valued at for phones of this spec. However, you are getting a phone that is clearly helping a lot of people. And that's essentially what that video is about. So if you want to see that, make sure you check out that link in the description below. Anyway, we're going to move straight into the specs now. So starting off, the original Z has 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gig of storage, whereas the Z1 has 4 gig of RAM and 64 gig of storage. And that 64 gig of storage is expandable. So if you max out that 64 gig, all you have to do is get a SD card chuck it into the expandable SD slot within the tray and just expand that storage so you can have even more stored there if you wanted to. And as I said, the Z1 is dual SIM and that is also the case on the Z. So dual SIMs are, you know, something very standard now and something that you kind of need on a phone. And both of these phones do have that dual SIM capability. In terms of displays, the Z has an IPS LCD display and the Z1 has a HD plus display as Mara phones are dubbing it. But what I will say is the display on the Z1 looks absolutely incredible. And if I just quickly unlock this for you, you can see that that display is absolutely beautiful and it looks absolutely stunning. So very, very impressive display on the Z1 in my personal opinion. In terms of chipsets, the Z actually opted for a Snapdragon 435 chipset whereas they decided to completely switch it out on the Z1 and opt for a MediaTek Helio A25, which is a bit of a different chipset to go for. And what we will do is a video at some point talking about chipsets and uh, basically outlining the differences. But that is a, sh a different chipset that we don't usually see, but it is a very high performing and incredible chipset. So don't be fooled by the sort of different name you haven't really seen in Android phones, um, it is an incredible chipset. The camera on the Mara Phone Z looks like a big camera, and that is because it is. This camera is a 13 megapixel camera, so it will shoot fairly crisp photos compared to the triple camera setup you have on this Z1. Now you can see here that you've got a 13 megapixel, an 8 megapixel, and a 2 megapixel camera here. So you're going to be taking extremely crisp photos, and they're going to be looking great and that is one of the biggest upgrades on the Z1. In terms of battery sizes, you've got 3,075 mAh of battery on the Z compared to 4,000 mAh battery on the Z1. So you're gonna get a lot more life out of the Z1 there, and it does need that bigger battery to support some of the more demanding components that the Z1 actually has. And one of those key components is the humongous display on this Z1. Now you can see if I compare it to the Z, you can see how much bigger that actually is. And along with the fact that the screen is actually bigger itself, they also have removed the majority of the chin and practically all of the forehead off this phone. So it looks great and the screen is extremely crisp. And that display is actually 6.517 inches on the Z1 compared to 5.7 inches on the Z. So as I said, you're getting a big upgrade in screen size as well as screen quality on the Z1. So there is some humongous jumps on the Mara phone Z1 compared to the Z. And the Z1 is an incredibly good phone for the price as well as, as I said, being morally very ethical as well. So you're getting an incredible phone for for an incredible price. One of the key upgrades that I actually have liked that I didn't really see a lot of places outlined is the jump to USB-C. Now, a lot of people say that, well, that's an industry standard type thing, but when you're talking about a phone that's 
250 quid, a USB-C port is definitely needed and when the Mara Phone Z dropped, it only came with this micro USB. So I'm glad that Mara Phones have opted for the USB type C port now. Now the price is fairly different, but I feel like that is respected in the spec difference. So I think it's warranted for the price jump to be, you know, fairly big. It's not ginormous, but it is a gap there. The Mara Phone Z, we couldn't find listed on a UK site anywhere, so we had to convert it from their official website, and that came to around about £209.99, compared to the retail price in the UK of the Mara Phone Z1 is currently £259.99. So that's incredible, and I think the jump, you know, isn't that big. It's only £50, uh, but you are getting incredibly better specs on the Z1. So yeah, I think Mara have done an incredible job on this device. I mean, look at it. When you look at it here in your hand, it looks great. The colors reflect off it incredibly well, and I just think a phone created in Africa is a really big step forward and a great investment for the future. Anyway, guys, what do you think about Mara phones? Now you know a little bit more about them. But if you want to know even more, make sure you check that video out in the description. If you have any questions about these phones, please let us know in the comments below. and We'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Make sure you consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next video.